That roommate, 22-year-old Ji Min Shah, an international student from Seoul, South Korea, called 911 at 12.44 a.m. to report the incident. Shaw was arrested for murder at the scene and is being held at the Tippecanoe County Jail. This is the first homicide to occur on Purdue's campus since 2014. According to the county coroner, the cause of death was determined to be multiple sharp force traumatic injuries, and the manner of death has been officially ruled a homicide. According to Purdue Police Chief Leslie Weedy, there were no signs of a struggle at the scene. Neither, neither one of them were asleep, and I believe this was unprovoked and senseless. Weedy also addressed concerns from students about why there was no alert message sent out to the student body. So in this situation, if we did not have the suspect in custody as quickly as we did, we would have absolutely sent out a Purdue alert. Um, but we had him very quickly and there was no threat to campus by this individual any further. Purdue President Mitch Daniels sent out a statement to students via email this morning. And in the statement, Daniels said, quote, this is as tragic an event as we can imagine happening on our campus, and all our hearts and thoughts go out to all of those affected by this terrible event, end quote. Chetta was from Indianapolis and was studying data science at Purdue. According to Weedy, his family was notified in person by one of the department's investigators. All I can say is really from the Purdue Police Department and Purdue University, our hearts go out to the victim and his family and friends and anybody who knew him or anybody who he may have touched in his life. Chetta graduated from Park Tudor School in 2020 and was a finalist in the National Merit Scholarship that year. Park Tudor interim head of school released a statement this morning saying, quote, the entire Park Tudor community is incredibly saddened by the tragic loss of Arun Chetta Park Tudor Class 2020. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family at this difficult time. Students on Purdue's campus have come to one consensus. They are shocked. Like, I've never seen this before. I mean, it's like right below me, and I was like, dang, I couldn't sleep. I can't sleep anymore. And we spoke to one student about her thoughts on how the situation was handled. Purdue University senior Dakota Bartlett says the best way to describe how she felt heading to her 8.30 class this morning was shocked and confused. She received an email from President Mitch Daniels this morning saying the student was killed in his dorm room early this morning. In an interview with Fox 55, Bartlett says she feels the university, including professors, could be doing more to acknowledge what happened and provide support to students. Because I feel like a lot of people are just going about their normal days acting like it didn't even happen. And I was like, this is kind of a big deal. Like, this was a person, somebody on our campus, a student, like, people may have, in this class may have, like, known him or, like, anything like that. And many students are processing this as they near midterms.